Hi, this is Andy Zeicher. Welcome to this video lesson that accompanies a groove analysis that I wrote for the August 2017 issue of Drum Magazine on Jeff Tain Watts. I've chosen the 16 bar intro to the tune Waltz for Marvin uh, mostly because I have an unusual love for this kind of groove. I actually wrote a book called The Jazz Waltz. I'm going to first break down the 16 bars into four lines or four phrases of four measures each and then show you after that how you can use uh, a lot of the ideas in this piece for other purposes. Here's the first line, slow down, and I want to bring your attention to the fact that the first three beats are a pickup measure. In other words, there's three beats of notes that precede the first four bars. Um, also, pay close attention to um, accenting and ghosted notes where the hi-hat opens and closes. The fact that the bass drum starts playing an ostinato in measure three. We'll talk about that more later. And that I play some of the stuff crossed over and some with bow sticks on the hi-hat. Um, I noticed when I was rehearsing this that that felt the most comfortable. Here we go. One. In line two, you'll notice the bass drum ostinato is now going full bore. Um, there's a really cool double time hi-hat lick in measure two. And Jeff starts introducing rim shots here and there as another way to accent. Moving on to line three, we have a really interesting rim shot on the E of one in the first measure. And in the third measure of this line, Jeff does some 16th notes under 8th note hi-hat like this, which adds a cool texture. Here we go. Okay, finally we have the fourth line. Here we have an interesting texture that Jeff adds a slightly open hi-hat that goes through most of this line. Okay, here are some other things you can do with this. If you take a look at the second line only, and instead of playing the hemiola, which in other words is the 3 2 polyrhythm thing that the bass drum's doing, the ostinato, which is 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and O, 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and O, just play quarter notes. 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and O. Sounds like this. faster. Um, you can also play a samba bass drum pattern. So this kind of like samba in three or samba in six. Here's that samba a little faster. Or you can take the bass drum ostinato, turn it into more of a swing jazz concept. It would be written differently than this, but it sounds like this. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and three. 
slower. Sorry. And two and three and one and two and three and you have the jazz ride. A little faster. You get your left foot going playing quarters. You can turn this into a mambo. Thank you for watching. I hope you got as much out of that as I did. Be sure to check out any Jeff Tane Watts music that you can get a hold of. And if you don't already, make sure to subscribe to Drum Magazine.